Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. We are here and Pat got a new toy. Pat, tell him what you got. Well, I got an IRP short shifter kit. Well, I don't know if it's a short shifter kit because it's definitely longer, but um, it's it's a universal kit and it's supposed to be a lot more like like aggressive and crisp with shifting. Uh, actually, I saw Boosted Shoe uses this. Um, another YouTuber uses this, and it's supposed to be like the same thing as like an RTD shifter or a CAE shifter, except this was only $500, and like the RTDs are pretty expensive, and the CAE shifters are like close to a thousand. So it's the same concept. It has a reverse lockout, which is nice. That way, I'm assuming it's because these gear throws are gonna be so short and close together. So um, what the kit consists of is it comes with this. This is already one piece as it is. Comes with the bracket. Um, I guess the downside to this is that you have to drill four holes into your trans tunnel, um, and that's what's gonna sit this bracket in place. Then this will sit like that, and then that's how everything mounts up together. Also, while we're doing this, I'm going to be upgrading my transmission mounts. So I got some UUC, um, these are blue. So I believe, I forgot, I think these are like sport track or whatever. It's supposed to be like good for daily driving, but still a lot stiffer. And as you can see, like they're, they're metal here. And then I'm not really sure what this is made out of. You think it's rubber or polyurethane? I think it's a, don't know. Me neither. But anyway, so these should definitely be a lot stiff, especially the fact that like now that I have this shifter and like I'm going to be banging through gears and stuff, you don't want the transmission to be wiggling around. And I do have brand new engine mounts. So, you know, if you're going to be driving fast and putting extra power, you really should upgrade mounts and stuff like that. That's why Project Cars is, is a lot of trial and error. Like when you build high horsepower, it's not just about putting in motor work. You have to do suspension stuff. You have to get different tires and stuff to handle it. And you have to upgrade mounts. And there's just a lot of stuff that goes to it. So that's what we're going to be installing. We have a lot of work to do. So we're going to take you guys step by step to go and do so. I also have some new stickers to put on. Oh yeah, you guys gotta see, see, look, I'm official now. So now when people see me driving, they, they know who I am, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, baby. Okay, let's get to work. All right, we raised the car, nice and high. We're gonna go under, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna uh, remove the exhaust mid pipe area. We're gonna have to drop the drive shaft. And then we're gonna have to take out the transmission motor mounts, that whole bracket. That way the transmission can drop. We have room so we can put the new bracket on. Here we go. All right guys, we're under the car. We're facing, that's the front. The front's that way, see, trans, engine. And we took off the dry shaft from the Guibo. We took off the center. I don't know how, I don't know how heaven, heaven could be better than. All right, so we took, we took the drive shaft off the Guibo, we took off the center support bearing from the body. We took off the bracket, the trans bracket over here, the cross member, whatever you want to call it. And uh, now I'm going to put these little guys on. They go uh, right there. See? Ta-da! And then uh, next steps are we're going to drop the trans a little bit so we can access the top and take off the old Garbo shifter. Alright, we got the original shifter out. We had to yank this like crazy hard actually hit that uh it was stupid hard then we had this little guy and from underneath we removed the bracket where's the bracket from underneath we removed this one um this is not going to be used anymore two 10 millimeter bolts over uh, nuts over here and a bunch of other stuff clips so don't need that garbo garbo and in order to remove that we had to remove this i had like little tiny hex heads over here. It was a little bit of a pain in the ass, but got that out. Don't need this anymore. This is the short shifter kit from Burger Tuning. That's what was in the car already. I have no complaints about it. It's just I had always wanted to get an RTD shifter. And so, yeah, I mean, the opportunity came up to grab one of those, IRP. I was told that it was very good quality. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with this. Maybe if anyone's interested in buying it, um, I'll sell it for like 75 bucks or something like that. So. Yeah, DM me and let me know. All right, we got the shifter kind of mocked up. You can see how tall it is. It's like taller than the radio. We have it mocked up. The bracket is in there. 
but the bracket goes under the the center console so I'm gonna have to trim it up a bit that way I can put you know little bolts like I got to trim it right here and there's a bolt here and bolts under here so I'm gonna trim them up and uh, bolt it up and we're ready to rock and roll all right guys this was a lot of work we had to drill the holes in exact measurement and we had to put the bracket so it doesn't hit like anywhere in the center console area we got the holes down we got the bracket in Pat is playing with the shifter. I don't know if you could hear him. I mean, that thing is crazy notchy. Yeah, this is uh, this is gonna be some learning. It's gonna be like driving a new car all over again. Not taller. Oh yeah, I like the positioning though, cause it's like you're driving and it's right here. Like you don't have to move your hand like down here. The old shifter is probably like down here, dude. Right? Yeah, it was I'd say low. it would probably end right here. It was low. Now it's got some extra. It feels crazy. I like it though. I like the position that it's in. I think it's going to be a learning experience. So. All right. So while Pat plays with his stick, um, it's really late. We are going to finish here for today. This was a lot of work. We had to, you know, do a lot of trans work underneath and. The holes were no joke trying to align everything properly and making sure the positioning was fine and wasn't crooked. Like you don't want to like shift first and it's like that way and it's just going to be weird. So it is a little late, but you know, it is what it is. And while, before we go on to the next step, make sure you go down, subscribe, hit post notifications and give us a little like if you like the video. So yeah, we're going to continue this uh, day two. All right, so it's the next day. I'm all alone by myself and everything is wrapped back up. Last night when Steve left, we had the shifter already done. So, as you guys can see, shifter's in place. We uh, kind of had to cut the stock like boot a little bit just to get it to fit over, but I like the position that it's in. It's a little bit angled towards the passenger side, but that's because all the BMW shifters where they connect to the linkage, they have like a little bend. So it's really should be like probably like right here because first gear looks like it's straight up. So it feels a little weird, but I think it's gonna be all right. I'll get used to it. If we have to, we'll stack up washers to angle it more towards um, the driver's side a little bit. But I do like it. It feels super, super crisp and notchy. And I don't think you'll be able to miss any gears. This is uh, pretty, pretty damn stiff and sick. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go pick up Steve and you know, I'll let Steve hold the camera. We'll get some driving done with it and uh, see how it feels. I'm pretty excited. I think it's gonna be an amazing mod to the car. Hey, Pat picked me up and uh, the shift is all done. Look at that. I like it. Me too. It's very notchy and clunky, but the gears are so easy to go into and I just like the position of it. It's like, it's like race car status. It's like perfect. I mean, I guess if it was here, it would be a little better, but then your arm is like not like in the right position. Well, that's like the e-brake for drifting. That's yeah. goes up here. Yeah, you want to keep it nice and close. But no, I really like it. And I really like the reverse lockout too. It keeps you locked out from going into reverse. So like, even if I push over hard, it'll never go into reverse. And that's good because these gears are so close together that like, you don't want to accidentally go into reverse and start going and slam into somebody. That would, that, would, that would look pretty bad. So we're just gonna go and get some driving clips now. You guys can kind of see how it is. All right, so pretty much what I would have to say about this, what I like and dislike is, I love how easy the gears go into place now. Downshifts, um, upshifts, like everything is just super, super crisp and easy. And you can really bang through the gears now. Um, my one issue is there was a lot of custom work that had to be done in terms of like getting the shifter in the proper place. Steve had to cut a whole lot of plastic out and um, it, it kind of, in a way I kind of feel like I overkilled this car. Like this car was supposed to be my daily and now it's very, very noisy in here. I literally, when we're driving, I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear it, but like you could hear my drive shaft spinning because we had to cut so much out that like we literally just have my drive shaft exposed and since we had to cut so much out from where the shifter goes the there's no like 
sound deadening or insulation or anything here. So it's pretty loud. Um, try. And when I shift too, like, you hear every single clunk, like, from the shifter. You know what, you really aren't kidding. I mean, you can hear the notchiness and the clunk, but those shifts that you were doing this whole time while you were talking, they were smooth. Yeah, it's very, like, it's very crisp. Like, I definitely recommend it, but I, I think if, if I were to be able to, like, I just don't know if I would want to do this to a car that I'm going to daily. And that goes into a whole other topic for another video. Like, like I'm thinking about looking for something else to daily and kind of turn this into like a full race car type of build. Full 1,000 horsepower! Woo! So we're going to have to see about that. But overall, I really do love the feel of it. Like, if you're like a big driving enthusiast and, you know, you love driving in your car and you're always banging through the gears, stuff like that, the stock shifter is just so light. And even like uh, the burger tuning short throw shifter that I had, that felt good, but it still retains the stock shift knob, which is so light. So like you have to put so much like force into the gears. And then another thing is the transmission mounts that we oh. replaced. That's another thing that I overkill. I specifically got them because they said street track. Like, so I figured, you know, they would be aggressive, but streetable, but man, Anything under 2,000 RPM, you feel the vibration. When I get going from a start, like when I rev it idle, you feel a constant vibration. So like, it's another thing that's just not, like this car, if I were, I'm not gonna lie. If I were to daily drive this for like a two hour road trip, it would probably drive me pretty crazy. Like, like the, the car is just, it's just to the point where like, like I said, I overkilled it. I really think I overkilled this car as a daily driver. I think I turned it too much into like this big track car and uh, it's quick. The car wants to spin out all the time. It's just not very daily friendly for New Jersey. <laughs> ah! I wasn't ready for that. I didn't know he was going to do that. <laughs> like. It's it's fun. The car is so fun to drive. Like you always want to drive it aggressive, always. But you can't. It's it's a daily driver. It it, it has to be reliable. And the reliability so far is so so. But overall, I really do like the shifter. Um, I I think you guys should should get it if you like I said if if you're like a big driving enthusiast and you want your gears to be shorter and you know you just want to feel more in control of, of your your gear changes i definitely recommend it but if you're just looking to daily drive the car and kind of just you know make the uh car a little more crisp i definitely would not recommend the shifter because the amount of work you have to put into and things you have to cut away and the sound now that you hear it's is not something that I would personally like to deal with every single day. But again, like I said, I think I have another car in mind and that may be coming uh, very soon. And then this car is gonna go go under the knife and go under some, some surgery again and probably uh, go full, full race car. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Always remember, work hard, stay humble.